Hi, Tim here from Proclaim AV, and today we're doing something a little different, so let's check it out. So today we're looking at my um, Behringer CT100 cable tester. And some of you have said, Tim, you already did a video on the CT100. Yeah, that's right, I'll put a little card up here for the rest of the review. Uh, but I wanna talk about two modes that are, um, I don't think listed in some of the manuals, at least the current version, is very scaled down. It doesn't show all the cool things that this will do. And I'm pretty sure they haven't changed the circuitry in it, so I could be wrong, but uh, mine does all these things, so let's check it out. The first one, the first mode, is the LED test mode. So let's zoom in for that. So in the LED test mode, what that lets me do is check to make sure all my LEDs on the tester are working. So I don't worry about do I have a wrong, um, do I have a wrong, a bad LED that's causing my reading to be wrong. So to do that, we press the reset button and then switch up into test tone. Now you'll see that it'll run through a mode where it checks all the LEDs. And it just cycles through them all to make sure that they're all working properly. So that's a pretty uh, neat feature, just to make sure all your LEDs are going. All right. Then the second mode is called installed cable tester mode. And uh, that's actually kind of printed on the side here. Um, it says installed cables hold reset while turning on cable test mode, power on LED flashes to indicate cable test mode, connect tester out to cable, test with and without cap. What is it talking about a cap? On other end, LEDs will indicate shorted pins. Okay, so I'm not sure what the deal is there. So let's look, I, I was able to dig up um, a older version of the manual that apparently has this printed and it is uh, it talks about the installed cable tester mode so let's uh, zoom that up there so it says this mode enables you to test cables in fixed installations or situations that don't allow you to connect both ends of the cable to the ct100 hold down the reset button while moving the on switch to the cable tester position the on led will blink to indicate that the ct100 is in installed cable tester mode okay so um, that's kind of what we've already learned from there. So let's give that a whirl, uh, reset, cable tester. All right, well that would appear that we're in the right mode, okay. To test a cable for short circuits, connect one end of the cable to the appropriate out jack of the CT100. The display works as in cable tester mode. However, it now indicates connections between out pins. If no LEDs light, the cable is free of short circuits. Okay, well that's interesting. Let's give that a whirl here. So I'll zoom out here. Um, I have my cable tester here and I have a short cable. Right here. So let's plug it into the output. Um, okay, so we don't have any LEDs lighting up. That's good, that means I don't have any shorts in this cable. But, well, if we did have a short, uh, then what would it do? So let's look at that. So I have this weird little gizmo thing that I've made for testing purposes. Basically, it has an alligator clip connected to every pin of the plug here. So let's plug him into the input. Again, no lights, indicating that the cable is not shorted anywhere. But So let's, uh, let's on purpose short out something ah okay so interesting so we have pin three shorted out and pin two or pin one pin three is shorted to pin one okay now when you're reading this you got to remember not to look at the input side because we're only using the output side to me that was the thing that was so confusing about it was that you know why is this lit up but what we have to do is sort of just look at the output so let's look, I'll kind of zoom in there a little more. So that, you know, pin three and pin one. Um, let's try something else here. 
we'll reset the intermittent there. By the way, the intermittent does work. So if we tap it like this, now you can see that intermittent lights are lit for pin one and pin two. You have to look at this input side to read that pin one, pin two, and we can reset it. Uh, there's intermittent connection on pin one and three, for example, okay. So now if we, let's say we do pin one and three, are shorted to each other, then we see that pin one and pin three are uh, shorted. So that's that's a handy way to check your installed cable and know, hey, do I have a short in this installed cable or what's going on? Uh, then there's also a continuity test mode here. So let's let's take a look at that. Continuity check on installed cable tester mode. All right, for a continuity check, install connect a shorting jack, a pin in which, a jack in which pins are short circuited to one another to the other end of the cable. If there are no breaks in the signal flow, the display will show the corresponding pins as being shorted to each other. If the display indicates no short circuit, there is a break in the signal flow. Okay, that's cool. So let's try that. Um, bring our tester in. Uh, oh, so I, I have my plug here. So, so to make a shorting jack, basically what I have to do is connect all the pins <laughs> to each other like that. All right, so that was what it indicated. So let's plug that in. Uh, okay, ooh, interesting. So we go here. This is indicating that all the pins are shorted to each other. Interesting. Now that's good. If you're using this in continuity mode and you're, you're using that short or that um, shorting jack, then that means you're, you've got signal flowing through all your cables. You don't have a break in your cable anywhere, which is great. That's what you were hoping that there's not a problem with your cable. So if you tinker with this and let's say you had an intermittent connection somewhere, um, I've got this all put together. So look at that. If we go, okay. Yeah, there's an intermittent connection. So that's what you want to see. But you know, if you only have two pins connected, then you're going to go back to what we just showed where it's, you know, pin one and pin, pin three and pin one are connected, but somehow pin two is not connected. I think the display on this is a little confusing, but at least we know what it should look like when everything is shorted together. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. Um, some interesting cable testing um, options if you own the CT100. And by the way, I recommend that you build a couple of these guys. These are pretty um, handy if you do cable checking or whatever. So I just went to Harbor Freight and bought, you know, well, they were whole cables at one point, right? Oh, I just snipped them in half and soldered them to the same pins so that I have, you know, uh, green, red, and black. You can do whatever colors you want as long as you know which color goes to which pin and they're the same on both sides, um, which we can show actually. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's do that. Some of you are already done with this video, so bye. See ya. <laughs> I'm just having some fun now. All right, green. Oh, we need to be out. We need to be in regular cable tester mode. All right. And then red. Come on. And then the black. So we can see there that, you know, that's how it normally is. Pin one lines up with pin one. Pin two lines up with pin two. Three lines up with three in the regular cable tester mode. So anyway, hope that was fun and you enjoyed um, this video and have a great day. Thanks for watching.